Hello, YouTube. Thanks for joining me for this episode of One Shot. One Shot is a series in which I play horror games that aren't quite long enough to fit into a stream for my Twitch channel. But there are still plenty of games that won't fit into an entire stream on Twitch that I would like to play. Quick reminder that if you enjoy my content, it helps the channel immensely to like the video and subscribe, as well as sharing this with other people you think might enjoy it. So join me for this one shot of Copperport Case File 847 Under the Stairs. Dispatch, how can I help? Uh, yeah, hi. Is this the police non-emergency line? Yes, we dispatch for them. Can I help you? I'd like to request a well-being check on a neighbour. Uh, it's probably nothing, but he's kind of frail and I just haven't seen him around for a few days. Okay, can I take the gentleman's name, please? Peter Renton, room to 12 Rock Ferry Lane. An officer's on the way. Can I take your name, please? Uh, yeah. Great at dispatch. I'm on scene at the Renton property. Acknowledge. Report back when you've located Mr. Renton. Acknowledge dispatch. Stand by. Okay. Mr. Renton, police constable Crane, can you open the door, please? No answer. Mr. Renton, police constable Crane, can you open the door, please? Mr. Renton. Okay. Okay. Okay, something wacky in there. Okay. Fuse box is mounted on the garage wall. The covering has been screwed in place. Okay. It's very dark. Thanks, lightning. Okay. Crates full of soil, fertilizer, and other gardening supplies. Peek in the window. No. Oh, there's cracked glass. Um. So I gotta find something to break it with. Oh, there's a brick shining. Cool. Press I for inventory. Okay.
Hello? I'm just here for a welfare check. A butcher's receipt. The paper is marked with dried blood. I mean, that tracks. J to check the journal. A receipt from a local butcher shop dated six days ago for the delivery of one live pig. The crumpled paper is stained with what appears to be dried blood. I mean, that seems normal. Okay. Oh, is that the fridge? Is it open or is it glass? It's open. By the smell of it, the fridge door has been left open for a few days now. Cool. That's the receipt. It's very dark over there. Always wanted to learn piano. Shame my hands are like shovels. Okay. Books of piano sheet music. I was always more of a triangle man myself. Okay, we get it. You don't have to be so self-deprecating. Whoa. A painting of what looks like some winged bloke in a bird bath. Unusual for a dining room, to say the least. Okay. Must be a... Um, English game developer? Books on world history. Guess Renton's the academic type. A painting of dancing nude figures. I don't get it myself. Kind of just looks like a half-assed job at making the bed. Okay. A fine china set of cups, plates, and saucers. Nothing too exciting. Oh, the TV's on. television has been left on. I can almost make out shapes moving in the static. Cool. Oh. The crumpled letter addressed to Mr. Renton. A letter addressed to Mr. Renton from a London-based publish publishing house. The letter offers vague condolences and understanding for Renton's personal tragedies before abruptly changing tone to remind him that he is now four months overdue on his latest manuscript. Yeah, that tracks. A simple landscape painting of Westminster. Probably the creepiest painting here. Okay. A framed degree in the field of anthropology. A framed degree in anthropology from the University of Hertfordshire, awarded to Peter Clive Renton on the 20th of September, 1973. Okay, more books, I would presume. Okay, we've got an upstairs, we've got under the stairs. I thought I just heard something. Sounds like a clock ticking. Okay. Well. A missing flyer has been posted through the door. A missing poster of a young boy named Toby Masters... Toby was last seen 5th April 2019 in the area of Rock Ferry Lane. He was wearing a navy blue jacket, cargo shorts, and a red and white cap with a spider logo on the front. Door is locked and bolted. 
Okay, well, let's go check under the stairs. I mean, that is the name of the game, right? The door is locked. Okay. Okay, there's something weird over there. We'll get there in a second. Locked from the inside. I could force the latch with something narrow. Okay. The hatch is out of reach. Okay, we'll jump. I have a feeling we're going to find the missing boy under the stairs. A travel insurance claim form detailing med medical care whilst in Serbia. A travel insurance form claiming for medical bills whilst abroad. According to the form, Trisha Renton was taken ill whilst in Serbia. She was treated there for a rare and previously undiagnosed blood disorder. Okay. Oh, that's the backyard. Collection of books authored by Mr. Renton. A complete series of books authored by Mr. Renton. Each book focuses on the academic study of a different mythical creature, its origins in primitive folklore, and its impact on modern culture. The bed is neatly made and doesn't look like it has been slept in recently. Okay. Various philosophical and theological texts. Renton must be a joy at parties with a misspelling. A cork board covered with research notes and a map of Serbia. A cork board loaded with research notes. A map of Serbia dominates the board with the village of Medugna highlighted. The name of Arnold Arnold Powell Pool and a number of dates from the 16th century appear frequently. I wish I could turn down just the storm sound. A pair of old plane tickets under Peter and Trisha Renton's names. A pair of expired plane tickets under the name of Peter and Trisha Renton. They are dated last February for a flight to Ponik, Ponik V Airport in central Serbia. A narrow, blunt-bladed letter opener. I bet that'll get me into that door. There's that ticking again, but I have yet to see a clock. An urn takes the center spot amongst a humble shrine of photos and condolence cards. Okay. A 
ceramic urn takes center place in a memorial shrine flanked by photos and condolence cards. The cards are addressed to Peter Renton, consoling him on the recent passing of his wife, Trisha. Sad. Okay, but legit, I hear the clock, but I don't see one. I've met too many people in this job who wear masks. Feels like they're staring at me. Creepy. Cool. Okay, so let's go force this lock, right? Um, inventory. You force the lock. Okay. Oh, and there's a dead guy. A bottle of pills has been discarded on the floor. A bottle of folic acid tablets found discarded on the bathroom floor next to Renton's body. An easily accessible form of folate, these tablets are commonly used to treat blood disorders such as anemia. There's a, a key. A shiny brass key for a cylinder lock. Cool. Train a dispatch. I'm going to be part oh, of this roll for a line. Confirmed, Constable. Have you located Mr. Renton? Yeah. Looks like a heart attack. I reckon he's been dead a few days now. Let's leave that for the medical examiner to decide, Constable. An ambulance has been dispatched. ETA 20 minutes. Secure the premises and sit tight. Body of Peter Renton discovered in the locked bathroom of his Copperport residence. The corpse appears to be a few days old. The patchy discoloration of the skin is consistent with a heart attack. Nothing to say about the key, though. Interesting. Can I not open this? Okay. Okay. Now, where would I need a key? Under the stairs? Hello? Oh, there's the clock. Okay. at the cellar door has been knocked over. With no other signs of disturbance, it is unlikely that this was the result of a struggle and more likely has just been stumbled into. Do I have a flashlight? Controls? Camera mode P? Oh, you can switch between first and third person. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, inventory, use. You unlocked it. It's fine. Bloody handprint has dried into the plaster work. Stains the wall of the cellar steps. It has dried and appears to be a few days old. The position suggests it was most likely made by someone steadying themselves whilst climbing the stairs. Okay, so we go down the stairs, I guess. Right? Hello? You're not... There's no one that's all stabbity down here, is there? bunch of random boxes and junk have been dumped here. Nothing useful. The 
a weird little office. A handheld remote control key fob. Ah! Uh, for the garage. A local newspaper dated eight days ago. An old newspaper from last week. The front page is dominated by the story of missing 10-year-old Toby Masters. Alongside is a story about the break-in and the vandalism of the Jubilee Green Crematorium a few miles down the road. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a padlocked door. Nice, yeah. So that suggests that we are going to find the missing child in here. A heavy-duty steel door locked with a padlock. Padlock steel door bars the entrance to one of the rooms in the cellar. The fittings appear newer than the than the others in the cellar. The door was most likely installed in the last few months. More random bric-a-brac, yeah. Okay, I just heard footsteps. For sure. Hello? Okay, so those footsteps were coming from this floor. Because listen to my footsteps. They're identical. Okay, so... I've... Ah, the fob. We need to go to the garage. Nothing happened. What? Examine. Okay. Nothing happened. Why not? Okay. Is that the urn? The urn is empty. The urn from the hallway shrine has fallen and smashed on the hardwood floor. Upon closer inspection, it appears to have been empty and shows no sign of ever having held cremated remains. Crazy. Okay, well, I guess we need to go back up there. Okay. Um. Hello? Oh. The dead guy's gone. C 
cool. What? A rusty steel mortise key. Steel is tarnished with rust and scratches from years of use. It should fit a lever lock. This combined with the rust implies that it fits an exterior door. Maybe the garage? Or maybe the shed back there? Uh, is that a knife? Where did that come from? Cleaver is lodged firmly in the tabletop. I'm sure it wasn't there before. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe we just leave. Let's just go wait by the cop car for... For backup? Is that a thing that happens? You unlocked it. Okay. A bunch of stuff in here, it looks like. A pair of bolt cutters. They are rusted, closed, and useless. Okay. What is... A long wooden pole hook with an iron hook with an iron hook at one end. What is that for? Maybe to open the hatch? 13 amp copper fuse. You know the hatch up on the second floor? Goes up to, what, the attic or whatever? Was that light on before? Um, there's someone sitting right there. Yeah? There's someone sitting on the couch. Hello? Um... This is Renton's body. Someone has to be screwing with me. No shit. Okay, I guess we go up the stairs. Quickly. Uh, no. No. There it is. That was loud. Hello? It's a very untrustworthy room. I don't trust you, room. Complete manuscript for Professor Renton's latest book. Okay. The Vampire Primitive Myths to Cultural Phenomenon. Pages are covered in frantically scribbled notes and amendments. Okay, and we have an item. 
a screwdriver. Okay, so we found an, an, uh, a fuse. Maybe the power is out in the garage. And we need to go turn that on. Nope. Nope, we don't need to. It's fine. Just stay over there. This can didn't fall by itself. I'm definitely not alone in here. Cool. Hello? Okay. I've got a screwdriver and I'm not afraid to use it. Whoever's down here. Okay, now... Uh, the body's gone. So's the knife. Sure, this is fine. This is... Okay, here we go. Let's do, let's do this. Use. You've removed the screws, okay? Use. Okay. Hello. Oh, that's the pig. Cool. The slaughtered pig. Its blood is collecting in the bucket below. A pig hangs from the rafters in the garage. Someone has sliced its throat and bled it dry. What's left of the creature's blood is collecting in a bucket beneath it. Do I... I don't take the bucket, do I? No. There's a... An oil can? What would I use this for? Tires and wheel arches are splattered with dried mud. What's the oil for? The um, shears or bolt cutters or whatever they were in the other shed. Maybe this will make them usable. cutters to cut the lock on the in the basement a heavy duty set of large bolt cutters they are old but now they have been oiled they function perfectly okay so down the stairs we go whoa hey whoa hey buddy huh 
Hello? Mr. Renton, I'm unsure if you're alive or dead. And, and, and I don't like that you keep spooking me. Please stop spooping me. Okay. Well, let's go do this, I guess. Oh. My heart's racing. Nice. Okay, door's open. There's blood or something. Whoa, hey, what was that? Nope, 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 nope. You stay over there. We good? We good? Wait a minute, what was... Um, that guy doesn't look good. What was... Oh, wait, the journal. Toby Masters. Is this you, Toby? Toby? Toby, is that you, buddy? Are we good? Are we good? Toby, I'm, he I'm here to help. Where'd he go? A dirty old mattress and blanket. Looks like whatever I, s I saw has been living down here. A red and white baseball cap has been abandoned in the corner of the room. Yep, that's what he was wearing in the picture, wasn't it? With a spider on it, huh? Flecks of dried blood can be seen on the inside. Yeah, that looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. The walls have been covered with crucifixes. Cool. Countless crucifixes are nailed to the walls of the locked cellar room. They appear to have been crudely homemade and hurriedly hung. Okay. Hey! Uh... Did I just get locked down here with the kid? At 10.09 p.m. on the 18th of April, 2019, responding to Police Constable Crane's request, paramedics were dispatched to the home of the late Peter Renton. On their arrival, they found the door open and the property abandoned. To this day, the whereabouts of Peter Clive Renton and police officer Henry Crane still remains a mystery. Did they not check the basement? Well, that is the Copperport Case Files 847 under the stairs. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to give it a play yourself, you can do so by following the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to drop a like and get subscribed to the channel. Feel free to share this around with anyone you think might enjoy it. If you would like to vote on the content I'm going to be putting up on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch, then you can do so by becoming a supporter on Patreon. Doing so also gets you access to a community Discord server. If you enjoy short horror, really, really short horror, I make Let's Plays on my TikTok. Yes, that's Let's Plays in three minutes or less. So head over there and give me a follow. If you enjoyed this but you want even longer form content, then you can swing by my Twitch streams every Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where I am also streaming horror. Links to all of that are in the description below. Thanks for joining me for this one shot. See you next time.